this is a retrospective chart analysis that we did. We have a, a robust um, record of uh, uh, patients and, and patient outcomes in AML. Uh, and one of the really pressing questions that AML clinicians have is trying to identify those patients who are fit for intensive chemotherapy and those who are less fit for intensive chemotherapy. And as AML is a disease that um, affects disproportionately older patients, this is an incredibly important uh, thing to be able to determine. We've got, uh, thankfully, a pioneer in this field uh, by the name of Dr. Heidi Kleppen, uh, who helped uh, lead this study. Um, and she, she's done a lot of work in geriatric assessments and trying to figure out how to better predict what patients will do well with in, intensive chemotherapy. This was an effort to do a retrospective uh, analysis of those folks that were treated uh, for AML at our institution to see if there were any particular comorbidities that might predict worse outcome uh, and therefore uh, alert practicing clinicians that these are patients that we might need to uh, either consider alternative therapies to or to, to watch uh, uh, more closely. What we found was uh, in the older cohort of patients, so 60 years of age or older, um, diabetes was, the presence or absence of diabetes was actually predictive of how these patients did in terms of treatment related mortality. Uh, and this was particularly exciting to us because it leads you to the hypothesis that maybe if we did something about their diabetes, uh, improve their diabetes control, uh, uh, tried to uh, be better about making sure that their sugars were within a reasonable range that we might actually be able to, to make a difference. Now that's pure speculation at this point, but it's the impetus to, to look at that in a prospective fashion. Uh, and so we're pretty excited about that.